All right, to gain access to the map sensor, we're gonna have to first remove the airbox. First thing is just go ahead and remove this hose. Give it a close inspection and make sure that the hose doesn't have any cracks, it's good. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the intake hose. And just give it a good wiggle and it'll just slide off there. Just slide that out of the way as well. Coming around to the driver's side, there's gonna be a clamp that holds the intake onto the throttle body. You can either take this off with a flathead screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket. And then just lift the intake straight up. And just set that out of the way for now. Sometimes these gaskets will come off, so just make sure you don't lose that piece. All right, so your map sensor is located right here on the throttle body. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the electrical plug. There's a little button on the top. You just push that down and it'll slide right off. Go ahead and inspect it for any corrosion or damage. All right, to remove the sensor, there's gonna be two T25 Torx bit screws you gotta remove. Gonna inspect the screws and make sure there's no damage and replace if necessary. Now we're just gonna pull the sensor straight away from the throttle body and just give it a little wiggle. There's this boot on the bottom of the sensor. We're gonna need to take that off and put that on the new sensor. So I'm gonna take the boot off of the old of the old sensor. Go ahead and give it a good inspection and make sure there's no cracks or holes in it. Take the boot and install it on the new sensor and just make sure it's facing the correct direction. Just ensure that when you install the new sensor, the boot lines up with this plug right here. And you'll fill the boot slide on and it'll be snug. And then go ahead and reinstall the two T25 Torx screws. Just get them finger tight to begin with. And then tighten both screws to 25 inch pounds. Go ahead and reconnect your electrical connection. Take your housing, sit straight down on top of the throttle body. And when you do, you wanna make sure that the hole on the bottom lines up with this mounting plug right here. Make sure it sits down on there flush and then tighten up your eight millimeter clamp. Go ahead and tighten it up. Give it a wiggle, shouldn't move at all. If it does move, that means it's not seated correctly. That means you need to recheck the clamp and make sure it's always snug against the throttle body. Next, go ahead and reattach your intake hose. So it clicks into place and then take this hose and attach it back on top of the intake housing. And you're good to go.